Hey, what's going on YouTube? Happy Saturday to you. I hope this finds you having a great start to your weekend. We are in the middle of March Madness, so how can it not be a great weekend, right? My probably favorite time of the sports year is March Madness. I love the NFL. I love football. But man, there's just something about March Madness. I look forward to it every year. Our uh, Jayhawks play today at about 1.45, so we are excited to uh, watch them take on Creighton. And my wife and I literally vegged all day yesterday and just watched some great games. By far the best day of games so far in this tournament, in our opinion. Just a lot of really close, close games. And uh, man, we got some upsets. My bracket is busted. Uh, I had Kentucky and Kansas in the finals, so Kentucky... While I'm bummed the bracket got busted, I am not going to complain about Kentucky being out. I'm just going to be honest. That's just kind of one of those teams I'm always rooting against. So hope you're not offended by that. But man, love, love, love this time of year. And tomorrow is the first day of spring. So it's a great time of year. So today we are going to open up another Beckett Marketplace purchase, a PC Beckett build is in the house today. I'm really excited to open this up and let you see what I added to the PC. Lots of crazy free agency stuff going on as well. Deshaun Watson to the Browns. And now, right, the Baker saga begins. I'll be curious to see what happens and what Baker ends up doing. Um, and at the same time, I'm just kind of shocked, honestly. I didn't know if Deshaun would ever get another opportunity in the league. So uh, we'll see what happens with that, I guess. We'll see see what comes about. And uh, some other ones that were kind of notable. Von Miller to the Bills. Man, that's so crazy. There was a lot of hope that he might come back to the Broncos, but not to be in uh, Juju Smith to the Chiefs, which obviously hits close to home for for us and the Devontae Adams to the Raiders like it's just insane man the AFC West is just going to be nuts next year because of everything that's going on in the free agency free agency process so anyways um lots of just lots of fun stuff going on sports wise so let's take a look I purchased this from Burbank Sports Cards and I'm going to put a link down below um to their Beckett Marketplace site um, again, I would encourage you to check out Beckett Marketplace if you have not already. It's a fun way to build your collection, and uh, I've had a lot of fun shopping on there. Um, they had a threshold, and I've told you this, I'll probably tell you every episode, they have a shipping threshold. If you hit a certain amount price-wise, you get free shipping, and Burbank's was uh, $40. So um, spent just over 40 bucks and got my free shipping and picked up a nice load, as you can see of some PC cards. So let's see what we picked up here. So we're gonna start off with, we got a Tebow Tops Prime, and this is the third quarter. So this Sam Bradford, Tim Tebow, and Jimmy Clausen, um, this would have been the rookie year and a uh, nice little addition to the Tebow PC there. Nice, uh, thick hobby style card as well. So you got Tebow Prime, third quarter. We got a Javante School Colors. Ooh, that corner's a little dinged up there. Javante Williams School Colors. I'm excited to build up Javante's PC, and I'm excited for him in his second year. It's going to be fun watching him. We got a Albert O. Most likely the new tight end one for the Broncos. Got an orange disco rookie card from Prism. Pretty excited about that. It's a nice addition there. Got a Bradley Chubb rookie introductions Prism. Nice shine to that bad boy. Got a little leaf action here. Got a Cortland leaf touch mat down machines gold of Cortland. Good stuff. I got a few Cortlands in here. I picked up some elite inserts, elite draft picks. Primary colors of Cortland. That's just a cool card. I like that. I like that a lot. That's actually a black or a, it's kind of a, there you go, hollow background. My shirt reflection showing red, but it's not. SMU had some really cool uniform designs. I think that's part of the reason I like picking some of his stuff up from his college. Got an elite series of Cortland, elite draft picks. 
and also got a chain reaction. So three really sweet elite draft pick inserts. They did a really good job with their with their inserts. I like those a lot. Those are some sick looking cards. We got a rookies and stars Peyton Manning 2012, and this is the longevity. It's got a nice little foil to it. And excited about this one. It's a sweet little die cut. MVP contenders of Peyton Manning 2012. From contenders. Pretty little die cut. You might hear, I got the vacuum shop back going on in the background. My boys are antsy to earn some money. They got, We've got another uh, card gathering coming up here in our community that I'm putting on. And they're wanting to get some money together. So they're out cleaning our cars. <laughs> I'm always in for that, right? It's always good to help them uh, and make them earn their keep. So um, if you hear that vacuum going on in the background, that's what's going on. We got a gridiron uh, arms race, Peyton Manning. Thought that was a really cool insert there. So we got another Topps Prime. So that other one was the third quarter. This is the fourth quarter. As you can see, if you haven't figured out, it's because there's four and so out of all four of those, obviously all of those quarterbacks have not made it as starters in the NFL. Um, I know Colt's still a backup. Um, obviously Bradford, man, he just had so many injuries. I think he had really good potential. Um, Clawson didn't pan out. I really, really, really hoped maybe Tebow would decide to try the tight end thing. And he went back to Jacksonville, and but he didn't make the cut. So, um, But a, another good addition to the Tebow PC there. We got a John Lynch. Gold border tops, 50 years of collecting. And these, of course, are always serial numbered of the year. So out of 2008, 263 out of 2008. Nice little Lynch edition. Don't have a lot of John, so it's nice when I can get snag some of him. Got a tops total blue as well. A little dinging on the corners there, but nothing too bad. <laughs> Didn't pay a lot for these, so... Ultimate Collection, 389 out of 525 of John. That's pretty sweet. It's a cool card. I haven't really seen these before. I was excited to pick this one up. Got the nice thick card stock. That's pretty nice. We got a Tops 2005 Tops, and this is actually, you can see their first edition. So I have the base one of these, but this is the uh, this is the first edition parallel. So couple of nice Johns there. And then we go into our champ collection. Got a champ and this is the gold foil. Grit, get our, bleh. Easy for me to say, right? Gridiron gear. So you can see it's the gold foil. Numbered out of 250, 49 out of 250. So that's nice. And then I picked up another one as well. And boy, these sure do look the same, don't they? Nope, they're not. Oh, I see the difference. Okay, so I was thinking the gold was in the background, but the the uh, I think the difference is in the uh, logo. No, it's in the hollow foil. So if you look here, it's hard to tell with such a gloss. See the difference? This is the gold, and this is the silver hollow foil. And this one's 71 out of 100. So you got out of 250 and out of 100. You can kind of see it up top here too. Gold, silver. So a couple nice little parallels to add on. Got a score glossy from 2004 of Champ. Got the nice gloss finish to it. Then we got an absolute memorabilia 2004. Even these older cards, man, they did a good job of getting some gloss going on there. And you got a 725 out of 1150 on that one. So. Got some nice champ additions. And then we've got a TD. This is Collector's Edge Advantage. And this is, uh, oh, I'm going to forget the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, it's like a it's like a diamond. Uh, I'm going to forget. I'm gonna, You know what? I'm going to put the name of it down here. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> um, it's like Crystal Cut. I think it's Crystal Cut is what it's called. And numbered out of 3,100. So super short print there, but I thought that was pretty sweet. I think it's a silver crystal cut or something like that. 
And we got a TD um, ball hog from Action Packed. Thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of see it. There's a little bit of embossing on there. It's got a texture of the football. You can feel it's pretty cool. Number two of 12. So a little throwback action, some TD. Got this one as well. I actually have the, uh, I have the uh, base of this. Ooh, that's got a nice little ding out of it too. I got the base of this one, and this is the silver foil. That yeah, foil might be coming off a little bit. Or no, that's a sock. I'm sorry. Never mind. So got the silver foil version of this one. And got the base already in my collection. And top it off, second quarter, Tops Prime, Tebow, and Bradford as well. So I picked up three of those primes, second, third, and fourth quarter. Um, and they're all that nice thick cardstock as well. So there you go. Nice little pickup there from Burbank Sports Cards. Again, I will, uh, I'll will i post the link to their Beckett Marketplace if you want to go check them out. Um, enjoy working with them. They're pretty quick on their turnaround and shipping. Uh, I am dabbling a little bit in Calm C on their website. I'm considering starting to buy from there as well. I don't know if you guys have checked out Calm C. I'll put their link down below too. I'm just kind of getting my feet into it. Uh, BPL. Um, has uh, posted some stuff that he's purchased on there. So I got kind of curious. So I'm going in and checking it out. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe that'll be something I'll start adding in as well. But uh, guys, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you checking out. As always, like the video, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what your favorite card was of the B... Uh, the Oh goodness, I'm sorry. The Beckett PC build I got going on here. Enjoy the madness of March. Looking forward to the day and the upcoming weeks. And hopefully... Here in a couple weeks, I'll be talking about how my Jayhawks are in the uh, finals. We'll see how that goes. But until next time, guys, this is Bronkman, and I will see you in the corner.